The main goal of the tutorial is achieving the good design with the minimum details. So that's why you need to add a cylinder and we will go with the 64 words. Then scale the cylinder along the Z axis. After that you need to go to the edit mode and take the knife tool and create a cut like this. And then you need to adjust the position of the words. Then you can select everything and take the symmetry along the X axis. You can go with the mirror modifier also, but I like to go with the symmetry. Then select these faces and Ctrl A to apply the scale before using the insert operation and then you can use the insert operation. After that you need to add the loop cuts on the model and you need to create the right topology add there. So just select these words and create a path in between them with this right click connect vertex path and then add few loop cuts like this. Then select the edge loop and S, Z and give the value 0 to scale it along the Z axis and make it flat. Then select these face loops and deselect these faces. And then delete these faces. Then select this edge loop and add the bevel on this edge loop with Ctrl B and then you can delete these faces. Just select this top and bottom faces and then delete them. You don't need those faces. After that just add a few loop cuts here like this. And here you need to create the right loop structure. So just create that loop structure around this boolean. And then you can dissolve these edge loops. So Ctrl X to dissolve them. Just give the right position to the word. And then select everything, take the symmetry. Along the Z axis, X axis. And then you can add more loop cuts on the model to maintain the form. And here also we need to create that loop structure. So that's why I just select these faces and press I for the insert operation. And then create that loop structure here. And then dissolve these edges and take the knife tool and then create the cut like this. Then take the symmetry. Then add a loop cut and give the same position to the loop cut. So we can create the right form at there. Then select everything and take the symmetry. Now just add a few loop cuts on the model. And then you need to add the subdivision surface modifier. So add that subdivision modifier and increase this count up to 2. And you can see we got a decent cutout here. Just we need to work at here. So just select these edge loops and try to maintain the edge flow. So you can use the set flow. Otherwise you can dissolve these edge loops. And see what should look good. Then just select these words and move them along the Z axis like this. And then you can take the symmetry. So you can see we got a decent cutout here. And then you need to select everything and E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal. You can extrude it along the normal with the extrude normal or you can extrude it and then you can press Alt S to scale them along its normal. So you can add a little bit of thickness on it. And you can see that's look good. Now we need to add few loop cuts here at the top. So just add few loop cuts here. And then press S, C and give the value 0 to make it flat. And then take the symmetry. And now you can see it's look good. And now you need to add few loop cuts. And just I want to create more details on the model. So that's why I use the X remote, select these faces. And then you need to delete these faces. So press X and then delete. Then select this edge loop and right click and then breach edge loop to fill the gap. 
After that select this face loops and then press I for the insert operation to add few loop cuts. Then add few loop cuts here and then select this edge loops. And then use the transform orientation to the normal and move this edge loops along its normal, along the z axis. And it's look good. After that you need to add the loop cuts like this and you need to create the loop structure around this booleans. So just create that loop structure. And that's look good so you can do this for all. And same thing you need to do from the inner side. And then dissolve this edge loops. And now it's look good. Just select everything and then take the symmetry. And then you can select the faces. Here I want to create the little bit of details. So just I will create the simple details here. And select the faces and use the insert operation. And then select these words, move them along the z-axis. And then just extrude along its normal. Give the small extrusion and then adjust the scale. And then take the symmetry. Now it's look good. Now here also I want to create a little bit of detail so that's why I have added a few loop cuts at there. Now you need to select these edge loops and then you need to use the edge slide. So you need to select this edge loop from the inner side and from the outer side and then use the edge slide at there. Then select this face loop and then press I for the insert operation. And then you need to press Alt S to scale it down along its normal. And to maintain the form you need to add few loop cuts at there. So just add those loop cuts and give the right position to these loop cuts. So we can maintain this form. So you need to add the necessary loop cuts on the model. After that it's look good. Then you can take the symmetry. So now I want to create the little bit of detail set here. So select these face loops. And then use the insert operation at there. So press I for the insert operation. And then use the Alt S to scale them along its normal and scale it outside like this. Then select these faces. And then you need to press S and X and then give the value 0 to make it flat along the X axis. Then you can add more loop cuts on the model to maintain the form. And then select everything and take the symmetry. And it's look good. Then Ctrl X to dissolve these edge loops and then add few more loop cuts at there. And now you need to select these faces. And I want to create more details at there. So just select these faces. And then press I for the insert operation and extrude a little bit inside and individual origin should be on and then adjust the scale. And scale it down a little bit use the insert operation and just add few loop cuts at there. To create those details. Then take the symmetry along the x axis and it's look good. Then you need to add one cylinder, so add the cylinder with the 8 words and give the right position to the cylinder. I want to create the boolean at here, circular boolean. So that's why I just give the right position to the cylinder and align it properly. And then you can select both object and then use the boolean operation difference. After applying the modifier you need to create the right topology here. And then create a loop structure around that boolean. And then select this face and press I for the insert operation create the right topology. And that's it. Then select everything, take the symmetry along the x-axis, y-axis and then z-axis. 
then you need to select these top faces with the shortest path selection you can select these faces and select the faces in a proper count and then move them along the z-axis like this and then you can take the symmetry and then here also you need to select these faces and then move these faces along the z-axis so just select the faces in a proper count and then move them along the z-axis and then you can take the symmetry so just take the symmetry along the x-axis y-axis and then z-axis and you can see it's look pretty well decent modeling we have done here with the simple details we have created the decent design so you can see from the Matica view it's look good I hope you will like this tutorial so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care